throughout adult and sexual themes. Twelve new housemates. I'm the governor. A bitch. Very demanding. I want to fuck shit up. Posh twat. I don't, I don't think, think we're, we're going to be annoying. annoying. I could have every single guy in there. But they're not alone. Love a good argument. I am a nightmare. Extremely annoying. Don't cross me. I am a ticking time bomb. I have the ability to destroy anyone in that house. The others are coming. And they have the housemates in their sights. We've chosen sexy because we're assuming the person who describes themselves as sexy is an idiot. Laura, you are now nominated for eviction. <laughs> and unexpected connections. Yes, I'm vain. What a muppet. My name's Jason Burrell. It's my ex-boyfriend. Uh, if you put her in that fucking house with me, I'll be over that wall. <gasps> oh, my God. Send the others to war. He's a great A dick. Yeah. You have proof and you get revenge. He's not staying in there. Speaking about a woman like that, you can fuck off. What the fucking fuck? A brand new Big Brother house. But this year, housemates will be under threat from a force in a second secret house. The housemates are entering unaware that the game has changed. Shit. PM. The new housemates are completely unaware that Big Brother has moved in the others, who will live next door to them in the other house. Their mission is to earn their own housemate status by secretly targeting the housemates and wreaking panic and paranoia amongst them. This is Big Brother. Big Brother has some important news. You are not housemates. In fact, you are not even in the Big Brother house. You are in the other house, and you are the others. I'm Andrew Tate, I'm 29 years old, and I'm a four times kickboxing world champion. I see myself as smarter than average. I was a chess champion from a very young age, from the age of three. My biggest tool is that I'm, I'm not afraid of anything. I have, don't need the money, I don't want to be faint, I don't want any of that, so I'm going to be the most emotionally controlled person in the house. Hello, my name is Huey, I am 21 and I am from Ireland and I'm an Irish traveller. To me, being a traveller is normal. I think I'm the most honest person in the entire world, but when I don't get that kind of level of honesty back from others is what is probably the main thing that gets my back up in this world. My name is Jane Connery. I set up my surveillance business so I catch cheating spouses. Not a honey trapper, 
I hate that word. Do I trust men? I trust them as far as I can throw them. I'm Natalie, and what I'm most known for is the fact that I was a dominatrix. If somebody's got an opinion about what I used to do for a living, I explain that it's my life and they can mind their own fucking business. My name's Ryan Rutledge. I'm 24 years of age. I'm from Blackpool. If I had to rate myself out of 10, it would probably be about a 12 out of 10. But with my personality as well, that would make it up to about a 20. I'm actually gay myself, but I don't like gays because I just feel like it's battle of fighting for the attention. All eyes should be on me. Hello, everybody. I am Charlie, and I'm a lap dancer in London. I do obviously have a bit of Botox. I have my lips done. I had my breasts done. I've had veneers as well. A massive high maintenance. I actually feel sorry for any guy that gets with me, and that's the honest truth. I expect everything from them, and really, I don't really want to give anything back. <laughs> Listen carefully. The housemates do not know that you exist, and in order to protect your place in the game, you must remain undetected. You are now on a mission to target and take down the housemates. Your aim must be to unnerve and unsettle them, create panic and paranoia, and ultimately steal a place for yourselves in the Big Brother house. Big Brother will get back to you. <laughs> I'm Natalie. Oh, nice to meet you. How are you doing? <laughs> Mama. Mwah. Where's the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we not housemates? I'm fucking cured about that. I'm very nasty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is the point? Why, why am I even here? Might as well go on now. We're going to fuck with their heads. That's what we're here for. Back in the Big Brother house, more housemates are about to enter, unaware of the threat next door. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on, into the house! Into the house! Oh my god. I feel like I'm in a dream. This is weird. Thank you. Oh. Welcome to the house, sweetheart! Oh my god. Everyone kept making out that I was really posh, and I was like, yeah. what? Oh, I have six horses, babe. You guys have horses? Yeah. I don't even own a fucking car. Oh, yeah. Well, look you lot. Welcome, welcome. Well, it's a bit psychedelic, isn't it? Why? I can't stare at her no longer, man. I'm going to get her hard on in a minute, I swear. That my jeans are far too tight for someone like you, y'all. Y'all step over there, and I'm going to walk over here, and we're going to keep it like that. Oh, my God! Hello. Hey, How are you doing, my friend? You nice doing? to meet you. Check out the nose room. Nice to meet you. It's like we like, you know, playing before we came in. <laughs> There's a little puffy in here, isn't there? We'll all be getting one by in the week, trust me. <laughs> Ten thirty-seven p.m. It's time for the others to choose their first target. Big Brother has placed twelve podiums in the garden, each displaying a character trait. Housemates must stand by the podium they think describes them best. Shall I go now or fight your I'm both. OK, guys, Alex is not going to be game player, so we need to switch this around a bit. I'm not a game player! All right, we'll be game player. We'll be game player. Housemates, your time is up. You have made your decisions, and they are now final. I, I knew that. Oh, God. What the housemates don't know is that the others are about to target one of them, based solely on their decision in the task. Listen, you've got to give something that we can tell. Sexy, 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 sexy. We'll see somebody, yeah. Yeah, sexy is the easiest. Are these people going to be evicted if we choose? We don't know. I don't give a fuck if they're being evicted. I'm not asked. This is Big Brother. Time is up. Andrew, 
Confirm the character trait you have all chosen and targeted and explain your reasons. We've chosen sexy because we're assuming the person who describes themselves as sexy is an idiot and not being an easy choice. No. Because they're going to look sexy. Okay, they're close. You can tell if someone's sexy or not. Yeah, but do my actually. We've chosen because it'd be an easy choice. By choosing to describe herself as sexy, Laura has become the other's first target. <laughs> Laura, you are now nominated for eviction. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no, no. Really? Laura, you must now nominate one of your fellow housemates oh! who will join you in facing eviction. Fuck, OK. Um... I'm really sorry, but I'm going to say Letitia because I haven't spoken to you as much as I've spoken to everybody else. It's fine. It's the... This is Big Brother. Laura, you have nominated Letitia. You both now face eviction. No. Don't worry, Tisha. Oh. This is actually happening. Coming up, Charlie discovers her ex-boyfriend is in okay. the house. Oh. My name's Jason Burrell. I live near Brighton on the seafront. Oh, front. my uh, God. Years. I spent nine months chasing the girl and five months getting rid of her. Is that you? Okay. Just give you a few what minutes. What the fucking fuck? <laughs> 11 or 6 p.m. Twelve new housemates are now living in the Big Brother house and living secretly in the other house are the others who are on a mission to earn their own place in the house by targeting and taking down the housemates. The others are talking about their game plan. We want to get in as a team, all of us. All of us to get together, work together for all of us to get in and then we can go cinebit you dickheads. After being nominated by Laura, Letitia's getting a pep talk from Andy. My advice to you would be don't hold it against yeah. her at all. Don't you No. No, either it's a compliment because she thinks that girl's hot Threatened and sassy. By me. That's why I felt like this. Or she I, I think more likely she genuinely hasn't talked to you very much and doesn't and had no choice. How do you choose between all the people? She's like one of the first people I spoke to when I come in though. I think, like, in a while, you'll be taking nominations personally. Right now, don't. Yeah, cos you don't know me, she, she does know my personality. Are you the bigger woman? Yeah. She's lovely. I think she's a nice girl. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon she's feeling really shit, genuinely. I don't think there's any act at all there. I think she genuinely feels really, like, uncomfortable. We're both now in the same situation, so you kind of need to stick together. Laura is feeling guilty. I want to go and console her, but I mean... You horrible bastard. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Do you know what? I was just, yeah, I mean, what the hell. I might be in my own bed tonight. <laughs> sorry, babe, I can't say anything else, but I'm sorry. Look, Laura, honestly, don't apologise to me in school. Honestly, it wasn't anything towards you. It was just I haven't really spoken. I, I was just, it was the worst position to be put in. Yeah, oh no, I can imagine. We're like, all going to be in that position and it's awful. I would know who to pick. Like, well, you know who to pick now, don't you? I mean, hello. It's just, it's awful. It's, it's not nice. nice. Honestly, it's a game, isn't it? Like, that's what it is. But as long as you know that it genuinely, it wasn't anything personal at all. I've only just met you. I'm sorry. Fine. <laughs> Eleven thirty one PM. Mark Orr has something to admit to Letitia. I mean I'm engaged, I've got a fiance. You are? I'm engaged, I've got a fiance. Oh my god, have you? Yeah. That's oh. Um but I got a hall pass for my brother. So we're really cool like that. Oh, we're so cool. You? I didn't come in here just to fucking hold hands. <laughs> in the other house, the others are talking about their relationship statuses. I can't believe you're single. 
Yeah. Why? Well, yeah, if, if, if you don't mind me asking, have you, have you been in a, rela a serious relationship or anything? Or have you just yeah, been... I have been, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Have you been single before? I am. Are you single, oh. Charlie? Yeah, I'm single. Okay. Yeah. Are, are you Not single? Not kind of. Yeah. Basically, basically, you're just playing the field and that and just seeing no. that. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, you're sort of seeing someone, but yeah. now you've come in here, yeah, you're all fit. No, 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 there's any offers at all. There's a bit of thought in the way you're saying. No, in that case, no, I'm not, no, 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 my son's watching, I have to be Are you single? Phone. Not really, no. Right, OK. Jackson and Jason are also discussing their past relationships. How were you single? I split up about three months ago. Yeah, I, yeah. Was, yeah, I feel the same, mate. You're in the same boat as me, mate. Yeah, yeah. We're sitting yeah. crying with each other later, all right? It is what it is. It is what it is. Life is life, mate. Yeah, she's life. an ex. There's a reason she's an ex. So exes are called examples. That's what I, I, I was just thinking. I walked in here and see like three or four of them. And go, I'll, fuck, I'll be over that wall like a fucking yeah, shirt. Done. Yeah, done. I'll spoon out the thing. I'll be digging me way digging out. Digging it out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Letitia has come to talk to Big Brother. Oh my god, Big Brother! Ah, oh, fuck that kills! Oh shit, I thought it was going to be comfortable! Jesus Christ! How are you, Letitia? I feel like I'm, like, I'm in a dream. I feel like I'm in, like, such an amazing dream and I don't want to be woken up from it, you know what I mean? I think the twins look like they just come from the circus, and I honestly thought I was walking into a circus when I walked in. Chelsea, his hair, his hair looks like, do you know, do you remember the Lego toys when he used to put the hair onto the Lego man? Well, his hair looks a bit like that, but he seems like a nice guy. What's that bitch I voted me? What's her name? I didn't expect that. Actually, do you know what? I expected it, because obviously she's a good looking girl, and she's obviously, threatened by me, maybe, because I'm also a good-looking girl. So I feel like, and I've got a good personality, I feel like that's why she nominated me, because she's good-looking, but she have not got a personality, but i got a personality and I'm good-looking, so that's a threat, isn't it? Fucking bitch! Fucking bitch! Oh, my God, honestly, what a fucking bitch! All I can say is karma is a fucking bitch. Eleven fifty two PM to help them decide who to target, Big Brother is about to show the others footage of some of the housemates filmed during the casting process. My name is Marco Pierre White Junior. I'm an entrepreneur. That's that's Pierre Marco Pierre, 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 Pierre White's son. son. Marco um, Pierre White. Being a model, um it's a, it's not a hard job. And yes, I'm vain. Girls fucking love the tattoo. Uh, I don't like it straight away. What a muppet. Hey, big brother, I'm Emma Jensen. I'm Victoria Jensen. And um, we basically love our dear, amazing, beautiful planet Earth. And they're, they're, they're absolutely Guys, yeah. if you want to get out of here, you need information, man. If you're not going to talk, you're not going to... Like, I really am getting... I think it's, it's the lights, but also I do really love trees. <laughs> they believe trees talk to them. Yeah. We can convince them of yeah. some next crazy yeah. shit and yeah. get them out yeah. and get yeah. our place. Yeah. I just don't they're a good target. Away. I am Laura Carter, learning to be a DJ. I'm actually being like flown to places like Jakarta to DJ and I can't DJ. <laughs> My name is Alex Cannon, 27 years old from Liverpool. So I would say I get a lot of girls propositioning me <laughs> on oh, social media. Off. Like getting them is the easy bit, it's getting rid of them is the hard bit, do you know what I mean? So, oh, fuck off, mate. Oh, we know who's at the top of the list now, don't we? Hi, my name is Georgina and I'm from Kent and I'm 26. <laughs> God, housemates will probably find my organisation annoying. Um, she got about as much banter as a brick. Look at the baby wings! She's funny, isn't it? I know, I love you. What both the others and the housemates don't yet know is that there are some unexpected connections between them. Big Brother is about to play tonight's final piece of footage to the others. My name's Jason Burrill. I live near Brighton on the sea Oh, front. my uh, God. I'm 45 years old. What? I'm a property you know developer. It? And I own a few Oh, my God, no. Now, you don't do know it. Oh, no. You what? It's now. my ex-boyfriend. I know it is it. Did you know My recent one. My recent one. No, I didn't. You're your ex-boyfriend. Uh, so I spent nine months chasing the girl, then five months getting rid of her. What? It's about you. She's, um, she's broken, shall we say. So, um, we're still sort of in touch. Still drives me mad. She actually said to me a little while ago, What about all the nice times we had? I said, Name one. 
and it went silent. Every time I keep thinking, maybe I'll let her back in, one, I remember everything that's happened in the past, and then on top of that, I remember, and I'm looking up here in the skies because I'm starting to remember things, I'm surprised I'm not sweating and falling off my chair. So if you put her in that fucking house with me, I'll be over that wall. Are you oh, crying? Don't, 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 don't cry. Don't cry. Oh, don't cry. Oh my God. Don't cry. Is it still quite it's raw? Okay, this relationship. Yeah, you can tell. Oh, I hope they don't do that to me. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. Did you not have an idea in the slightest? No, I didn't. Oh, oh my God. Don't sorry, worry, babe. Okay. Just give you a few what minutes. What the fucking fuck? Oh, my, oh my God. Did we get to know what's you? Are you fucking joking me? Did we get to know what's you? No clue. Yeah. Do you think that's in order to you? Oh. Is, he, is, he, is, he, is that real? Was Come he? Do you, you think? <gasps> yeah. yeah. No. She didn't know that. We're getting him out. He's going, mate. Oh my God. Now, what we have to decide is: Do we, as a group, want to get revenge on her behalf? Or do oh, absolutely. Or do we want to... She's that. That's yeah, We're all a team she's, now. She's our team, mate. Yeah. Well, that's it. Well, that's that's, that's the decision, then, isn't it? Yeah. What sort of guy is that, realistically? I'm sorry. Was well, that a proper bad like breakup? Do you, do you talk or anything, no? Um, I, uh, you don't have to speak about it if you don't want to. No, look, if, if, just if forget about it for tonight. Because you're that shocked. If happen. you want to talk to anyone, you can talk. You don't expect anything but... like this to happen. So Never what, what... in a million fucking years. Do you still speak? Yes, sir. And he knows I still love him. That's, I just find stuff like that disrespectful. Yeah, but don't he... speak down about a girl, whether you whether you end badly or not. It's just it's just fucking rude. Seriously, and it's imagine. probably better that you've been more prepared yeah. to see that yeah. than to have to walk into the house and see him face to face. That's what At I mean. least you're sort of aware now yeah. of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. He's a grade A dickhead. Yeah. You have proof and you get revenge. Yeah. What more could you possibly you're want on here. national TV? So be fucking oh, happy. Wait a minute, wait be a happy. minute. You <laughs> might get an opportunity to make him it. be evicted. Yeah, you take his money. Yeah. <laughs> he will have the last laugh in it. Yeah. So That's don't be negative about it. We just, have, but we just have to be smart and listen to yes. Big Brother when they talk and get yeah. our okay. shit right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Okay. We're getting him out players, and you're, getting, you're Please. getting in. You're yeah. getting in. He's yeah, going. He's going. He's going. I will make sure of it. He's not staying in there. Speaking about a woman like that, you can fuck off. Tomorrow, the others will see the remaining housemates and more connections will be revealed. Coming up, Natalie rages about Andrew. Thinks he's fucking smart. He's not that smart. He's a sneaky little shit. Got his number, and I'm going to make sure at some point he gets to know what I really think about him. Twelve forty-five a.m. Marco and Evelyn are getting to know each other. This is really cute. I really like this. This is Thank really you. cute. Thank really you. I love different. chokers. The chokers, yeah. My thing. Chokers, your thing. You like getting choked. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, not not like sexually, sexually. Like, is it like not too much? Just like a tiny bit. bit yeah, rough. it's just like cute, but then like choker is like yeah, yeah, yeah. a little no, bit something there. No, of course, but a bit of slapping, just yeah. scratching. Um, not too much slapping. No, I'm talking about me. You're gonna slap me up. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking, babe. I feel a little bit uncomfortable now. Oh, no, sorry. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, look at you starting already. Meow. <laughs> In the other house, Charlie is still reeling from finding out her ex-boyfriend, Jason, is a housemate. And I'll be honest, I treated him like utter shit mm. when I was with him. Right. Utter okay. shit. You know, like, when you've got something good and mm. you realise it too late, it was yeah. one of them scenarios. Mm -hmm. And he finished with me and he was like, look, I'm too busy, you know, I'm working, I haven't got time to make you happy anymore, blah, blah, blah. If you had it your <laughs> way, would you get back with him? Would you? <sighs> After that? No. 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 But before that's that, just, before that, would you, have, would you have liked to? Of course. Fuck it, that is... I, I don't even know how you're feeling now. Don't like that... spite me. That that's video good. has that's just ended it for me. Back in the house, the housemates are completely unaware of the tensions in the other house. Woo! Yeah, boy! <laughs> They're in the garden. Yeah, they are. Shh. Bastards. They're in yeah, the garden. They can't hear us. How we the fuck quiet. are they not hearing us? Well, then we need to stay quiet. Shh. They're, they're in the garden. Oh, darling. Oh, yes, oh this is okay. so nice. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Lush. This Lush is so that. nice. Oh, fuck it. oh shit. Is it warm? What is that? Is that a stripper pole? Yes! You watch? What's his spin on this? I actually used to be a stripper. Did you? Yeah. Has anyone got a right, singing? Hey, move back. I want to be up. Can we Andy. Can we let him? I'll do it. Oh, that's really good. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ah, oh, yes. Fucking have a good old time. That's part of our challenge. Don't stay quiet. Yeah, don't think we should if, let if them we, know. No, that listen, we... if, they, if we can hear them, they must have heard us. No, shh. They just came out. They started shouting. Be loud. Oh. Ryan Manu, they he, fucking uh, love them. He's not able to scale that wall, I'm telling you. Shh, 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 shh. Like, Guys, let's just take a moment, yeah? We're here. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. 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 we're here, we're here, yeah. we're here. Yeah. 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 2016! Guys, 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 what the fuck? Let's take a moment, man. One or three a.m. Andy um, has a question yeah, for Laura. So have you got some kind of amazing bra? Bra? Or are you... Got... My tits are shit today. No, they're just all squashed <laughs> in, like... They're amazing. Really? Mm. No, I haven't got a bra on. I've got you no look tip gorgeous. Type. Just... I'm just thinking, you know, death-defying going on there. I can say this, right, as a gay guy. <laughs> I don't come across as a creep. You look gorgeous. You were you stood behind the right pedestal. So, but then maybe you're a game player. Charlie is in the other diary room talking about Jason. Well, I've just seen my ex-boyfriend as a, I assume, housemate <laughs> in here. I don't even know what I'm feeling right now. I mean, that's, it's just blowing me out the water, really. <laughs> I mean, I know it's expect the unexpected, but shit. <laughs> wow. Whew. Jackson and Sam are talking about Jason. How old's Jason? 40, what is he? I don't know, I didn't ask him. Any your type of man? Um, I like a lad's like me. He like, seems low bloke. Yeah, no. I like someone with a bit of like craziness to them. Like, fuck, I like weird people. <laughs> You know what I mean? Come on. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 no you're absolutely, you're no, you're absolutely pick, gentleman. Yeah. Right, so you've got a buffet in there, right? Yeah, and I'm saying to you, right, you get to shag. Right, so who am I, who am I who sat next to? Pick? Who, who the fuck am I? Who am I chosen? Fuck, fuck off! Fuck off, you charming bastard! Fuck off! Oh, whatever. You chat shit, you chat whatever. shit. You chat and shit. I'll get my fucking canoe boats on you. What size are you? Uh, uh, seven. You're seven? Yeah, uh, no, I'm fucking seven, right? <laughs> You're joking. I'm only an eight. Seven. I don't I'm expect a, big things I'm from me, mate. Are you really? You cock at your knees? Yeah. 1.22 a.m. In the other house, Natalie is talking to Huey about first impressions. You know when we first saw each other? I had my first judgment. Did you? I think it's all changed now. What was your first judgment? Well, at first I thought. Well, first I thought. You go. The first, not anymore. Now changed, but I actually thought, fucking hell. Did you? What was and, and, then, and then I realised it. You know, I actually quite enjoy the craziness. <laughs> Back in the house, the housemates have discovered the storeroom. What is that? I'm 100% the team player, Andrew. but I'm definitely looking for the Are you a mole? Role. No, I'm not. To be a mole, I have to have at least watched the show. I'm probably the yeah, least. Yeah, but how do we know you didn't? Yeah, yeah, because you say it. If he's a mole, who Because you can look at my eyes and tell if I'm telling the truth. You're all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just... The way I sit down and look at it is yeah, everybody... Now, can I tell you what pissed me off? I'm going to get off my chest here. now. Can I get off my chest now? Yeah. When I was talking, and then I said, and I saw you give a kind of strange look to the other house. That's... The camera? No, I thought when you looked, when I was talking, and you kind of did a sly look as if... And I thought you kind of, like, was like 
your heart curls. Given something. your feeling, yeah. he's feeling about you. So you think, think you think I'm like from the other houses? No, no, I just think no, I just think you might be a bit I fucking two faced, and I don't oh like that. God. We just need to stop thinking into things. Yeah, too much. Yeah, whatever happens, happens. I'm not I actually saw you do the look. You didn't see me do it. There was what look? I, you you're saying what, I gave everyone a dirty look behind their back. I didn't say what I said. Me. What's the look? You said I gave you a dirty look. No. Can I just finish my oh, I, <laughs> I, 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 I tried to figure out what is the law. I'm saying, <laughs> I was talking to you guys, and I look, I saw him do like a, you know, there's like, that kind of... Uh, who doubt it? What, him. Uh, who, uh, you guys... Has no. anyone else in the group seen me give a dirty look about? No, I don't no, think that's a dirty look. I think she meant, I think she meant, like, it not like a dirty else, look. It was like... Was talking like, it was like, like that kind but of But if you did, you did... So I'm just saying, so somebody's two-faced, and I find out the two face, that's it, I'm cutting you yeah, off. I Done. Know. One forty eight AM. Natalie is talking to Big Brother about her fellow others. I'm very dubious of the Chicago guy. I saw that look. Thinks he's fucking smart. He's not that smart, he's a sneaky little shit. Got his number, and I'm gonna make sure at some point he gets to know what I really think about him. That fucker is a sly little fuck. The idea of staying here for two, three days ain't appealing. This conversation's about fake tan and nails. Jesus, help me. Give us the tasks so I can do what I need to do to get the fuck out of this place and into the main house so I can really be myself and cause the mayhem, drama, and be happy. Because I'm not happy. Back in the Big Brother garden, Marco is in a playful mood. <laughs> He's fucking mad. Oh, my God! I didn't even know that. Fucking mad. Love it. Yeah, fuck it. It's like Wee. a Levi's advert. You fucked your trainers up. Uh, you blue tans. Levi's advert. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, it was bad to happen. You say I mean. We're going to freeze your I fucking do. cock off. I mean. If it was going to be anyone, it would be you, Marco. In the other house, Huey is opening up about his sexuality. Me as a traveller saying that I'm bisexual. That's actually, I'm surprised right? you even said that. I if I'm worried about stick, I, I might as well that. go the whole nine yeah. yards if it was no. true. I'm nearly 22, I know no. what I am. In your community, though, is it, is it not like a stigma? Found upon like a, a little bit too, obviously. I don't hate it's not that it's for, all I can do is speak from my experience. Yeah. I've never gone to a wedding yeah. and seen like two men that are gay together or two women. You wouldn't, it's really not happen. something that's open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that doesn't mean that there's not gay happen. travelers and yeah, travelers. Yeah, I've got black people. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course there's all gonna... types of people. So I take it you wrote your, your family openly know about um, Yeah, so not, what, I, I, I told the people that. But obviously they're going to know that's now. Nice. But I'm just saying, what what. What do they? What do they actually think about it? When I told my sister, she just she no, just started no, crying and told me that, that I well, always knew. Okay, so really? Like, yeah, she said it doesn't, doesn't matter. Gay. So oh, I know that for years. She no, okay. she it doesn't out. matter. To you me. know what? You're loved, and that's it. That's yeah. what matters. And like just before I came, like my last phone call, like she was saying to me, if you want to say it on there or not, like and she was crying. She said like I'm proud of you no matter what. Like that's all that matters to me. I couldn't give a shit what anybody else. Listen, listen. As long as you love, as long as your family accept you, and you don't give a shit. That's it. Of everything, like my sexuality, being a traveller, being Irish, yeah, being a man. You, you know being what? You must have really good parents. Yeah. 2 10 a.m. Jackson is in the diary room talking about his fellow housemates. The ladies are like fucking gorgeous. Like all of them. Done a good job, you've picked a good bunch, I must admit. It's nice, it's nice to have someone to look at. I'm a bit like spoiled for choice, if I'm honest. There's something about Georgina. I don't know what it is. It's the fact that I kind of like know that I'd never ever ever get with her. Or she would never ever get with someone like me. And she's like way out of my league. Which is really attractive. And then there's like this sense of like, she has a horse and she dresses quite proper. And like, I'm a street kid, so it's like, we don't, we don't get to see that very often. She's all right, man. She's all right. In the other house, Ryan's got a question for Huey. Do you want your beer or not? Why? 
Because if you don't want it, I'll have it. I do want it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm very sure. You don't look like you want it. Go over and stand in the mirror, Ryan. Keep what? looking at yourself. That'll keep you happy, I guarantee. Yeah, no, just have that, please. No. Oh, You're boring. No, I'm boring. Because I won't give you my drink. <laughs> yeah. If I give away my drink, that would be boring. Oh, what is it? Oh. Like a rock star. I'm a rock star. I'm fucking Ozzy Osbourne. Do you know what? We're I don't think we're... It's actually against the rules to wear sunglasses indoors. You know that? Is it? No. Yes, no, it he's is. putting umbrellas up. You're not allowed them indoors because you're not showing your true emotions. I can wear what I want when I want if I want to wear sunglasses. I'm wearing Big Brother look. Oh, my God, you're such a rebel, That's yeah. That's what I think your rules. <laughs> you're going to get kicked out, I you. dare you break that mirror. Go on. You, you're you're going to get kicked if out, you're a legend, you'll do that. Break what? Break the mirror. Break the mirror? What do you mean? What, 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 what would you think I meant? What by my face? It was a joke. Are you I don't get your banter, though, because I'm not from where you're from. Do you know where you said, oh, you're such a rebel? I go, is it, if you're uh, um, like a rebel, a legend, yeah. you'd break that mirror. I was being sarcastic. All oh, right, sorry, I just don't you're understand that thick. it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little break bit. The mirror, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't be a legend. Back in the house, Big Brother has opened the bedroom. Oh! Bedroom! Oh my god! Oh my fucking. My fucking microphone! Oh my god! Shit, now this is. This is a new one, not sharing pen. Oh, my God! Shotgun! Oh, no! Come on, Right, who wants me? Who wants come on, Pat, oh, come on. Who you know I love me. you. Come over here. He doesn't. No. We've got baby oil. We can do massages. No, <laughs> OK. Who wants, who wants me in their bed, Lauren? Oh, Anyone? This is really awkward. So yeah. Okay, guys. Guys, Yay. listen up. I haven't got a bed. Like, guys, she hasn't got a bed. So who's going to Hey, come here, girl. I mean, um, Evelyn. If you I'm... promise not to touch me, you can sleep with me. But we have to have rules. Look at the guys. I'm, we guys aren't being I mean, gentlemen guys, right here. someone off here. I mean, listen. I come here, sweetheart. <laughs> I, listen, I got my side. You got your side. <laughs> Coming up. Andrew's playing to win. I want to get in there, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to do it. Three oh nine a.m. <laughs> Chelsea and Jason are finding out about Mark O's famous father. Well, I live in Chelsea. There's a Mark up here, you know, on the King. Yeah, the state cars. State cars. Yes. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm a regular in there, mate. Mate, listen, the one you want to go to is the new manor house, 50 bedrooms. Well, hey, there's no point in me saying is it doing well, because it's, it's, it's... Mate, it's, it's killing it, mate. It's got his, got his, got his he's, name he's over doing, it, He's doing stuff in Singapore, he's doing stuff Well, your dad, Dubai, do you see him much or not? Dubai, is, he, is he working yeah, all the time? Cool. I see him a lot. Yeah, I speak yeah. to him a lot. Great father, I love him to pieces. That's good. But we ain't here to talk about him. Georgina is sharing her first impressions of her fellow housemates with Big Brother. Letitia is really nice. I feel like she feels as kind of lost as me. Um, I think Evelyn is one to watch. I think she could be a bit devious. I've got a vibe from her that sometimes I feel she's a bit like, sees me as a threat. And she seems popular with the guys, so I think she'll do well. But I just get a vibe that she might be very competitive with things. Charlie is telling her fellow others about her lap dancing career. So I knew I was always destined to do something a little bit outrageous, a little bit... Like exhibitionist, a little bit. Of... Yeah. And, um, <coughs> and that suits me down to the ground. I, I, I always say, as long as someone's happy doing what they're doing... Who's anybody to judge? I would never. No, exactly, mm. you can't. But you I can't. couldn't anyway with what I do. I couldn't, no. you know. No, but it doesn't even matter what you do. No, no matter anybody... With the, somebody no, but... could have the best job in the world. You, you still can't judge somebody else, no matter what they do. Mm. Yeah. It's everybody down to themselves. You, you can't... But, you know, I look who at are myself you, Who is anybody as, to judge anybody? But I look at myself as an entertainer. But what, what have your boyfriends thought about it, though? Because, I mean, if that was me... I'm always you know, completely honest are they not them. No, 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 no. Do they not do, get... They're not the right person for you. Do they not get jealous? Because, obviously, I know I I don't like girls. But if I was, I'd be the type of person that would be like... It happens. But what I say is you've met me doing that job. So you tell them from the start and then... Yeah, I'd never lie about it. Never. Yeah, because yeah, that's my job. I'm not, not going to lie about it. No. Yeah, and I? if you hide it as if, because if, as if you're... If you hide it, you're making it look like it's something worse than what it is or something, exactly. there's something wrong with it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And I'm not embarrassed about what I do. <laughs> 3.30 a.m.
3.35 a.m. Marco's got a gift for Emma. Avocado? I came in with you. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have it maybe in a bit. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but I love it's them, not yeah. ripe. The spicy, not. I, I actually quite like them. I like them firm and soft. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, I don't like to wait. I'm quite impatient. <laughs> so, you know, if it's not hard, if it's not soft, I'll just have it hard. Like... <laughs> Avocados, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so opposite, like, it's a bit backwards there. They go, they go soft pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Over in the other house, Ryan's had one too many drinks. I haven't done anything. You got. Oh, I genuinely am so sorry. As long as you're all right. You have nothing to be sorry about. <laughs> Why are you sorry? And you don't fancy me anymore, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Look, I can no one smile you up now, I know. <laughs> Back in the house, Sam, Jackson and Laura are getting all touchy-feely. Hello. Hey, hey, you know what those guys Sexy bastard. <laughs> yeah, what well, the my boy. Yeah. Smells so masculine. I don't I smell yeah, like a baby. I'm I love baby it. Lotion. I know. Baby ah. lotion and sweat, I love it. Mm. So I feel like this is some weird, like. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Oh, oh. It's so soft. I love him, he's beautiful. I'm so getting an odd on. Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let's fucking get this on the go. Me and you, come on. I mean... Right, I'll who... let you guys get back to your little search. What the fuck? Who's... No, wait a minute. It's <laughs> all oh, that this is, is about this to get fucking frisky, mate. Yes. I'm all actually right. really worried it will, though. That's my problem. <laughs> this is going to be really cold. Oh, fuck off! Oh, shit, it's getting all over our bed. Where do you like it? Yeah. Everywhere, Where do you like it more? Why are we? Why would you say that? Why are we? Oh, you're fucking just slave. Just that. Do it, Matty. Do it, end up. Oh, you like need to leave, innit? No, I can't. I'm, I'm like, well frustrated. Where are you actually meant to, like, pleasure yourself? I don't think you can, babe. I don't think you can. Fuck it, I'm in my bullock. Sorry, mate. Sorry, I tried telling you, I'm horribly wrong. Four ten a.m. All of the housemates are in bed. <coughs> in the other house, Andrew is coming to talk to Big Brother. The rest of the others are asleep. How's your time been so far in the other house? Well, there's a massive difference between me and the other housemates because the other housemates are too busy being excited, they're on TV and running around acting like fools and I'm trying to actually complete the task, which I feel has alienated me from some of the housemates. But it's a risk you have to take, you know? I, I didn't have a game plan before I came in here, I still don't, but I'm intelligent enough to understand that if you want to learn something, you have to shut your mouth, you know? It's very easy to talk and constantly, you know, get attention and talk, talk, talk. You don't learn anything that way. You learn a lot more by being quiet, listening to what other people say, listening to who they look at while they talk, if they interrupt a certain person all the time, look at if one person walks, who follows them. You know, these, this is how you learn. You can't make moves on a chessboard if you can't see the pieces. So it's day one. I decided to stay quiet. I decided to learn a lot about my housemates. And not necessarily suss them out, but just learn about the situation we're in. And while doing that, try my very, very best to complete the task, which is get out of the other's house. I don't care if nobody down there likes me. I'm sure by now, everyone's already pre-decided they don't like me, and that's fine. I know where I genuinely am. So I know I'm the most intelligent person in this house. I know I'm the most capable person in this house. Fact. 
I'm going to get the task completed. From what I saw of the other housemates, there's some interesting characters in there I'd like to meet. I want to get in there. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to do it. Simple as that. Others be Big Brother's most dangerous card today. I think so. Loads for Rylan and his rabble to get.